I want to welcome everyone to today's show. Today's topic is every pussy got a story. Every pussy got a story. That is going to be our topic today. So I'm going to give everyone a chance to log in. As you can see, I have a tan. Yes. I enjoyed my weekend. I want to wish Jalen a very happy birthday. All over again, we completely turned up for him this weekend. Y'all, we had such an amazing time. And let me clear this because I actually had a few people that sent me messages and inboxed me and asked me, how do I deal with my husband's outside child? How do, how do I embrace my husband's outside child? Let me set the record straight. Jalen is not an outside child. <laughs> Jalen is our nephew. Jalen is our nephew. So a lot of times people make an assumption because we call Jalen our son, but we actually raised Jalen from a baby, like a couple of weeks old, up until he was six years old. So um, he is our baby to us. And, you know, he calls us mom and dad because he grew up in the house with us. So no, Spencer does not have an outside child. Jalen is our nephew that we call our son because we have raised him up with our children and we include him in everything. So I just wanted to make sure we got the record straight with that. Um, I am hiring here at the store. And before I get into my life, let me say something. Because I, I sometimes I don't think that people realize that their social media is a digital footprint. Your social media is a digital footprint. Now, of course, I put out that the store is hiring and I put all of the information out there to let you know to apply in person. And the reason I do that is because I don't want you sending inboxes or anything like that because this is not an interview process through the inbox. That's not how I operate. I'm a face-to-face -face type of person. But understand that when you do that, you can't get upset when an employer clicks on your profile and starts to go down your page and your social media and they try to see what you're about. And this morning, I guarantee you out of the 12 or 13 people who sent me messages about the um, employment opportunity, most of them, when I went on their pages, they were very angry. I don't know why these people are so mad at the world. I don't know why they're so angry. I don't know why they want to fight everybody. I don't know why the world is doing them in the way it's doing them in. But you have to understand as an employer, you do I want that representing me. Because a lot of times people come here and they want to get the job because they think they're about to be working directly with me. And to a certain extent, you are working directly with me. But the truth is, I'm not here at the store and you represent me. And I am a person that believes in carrying yourself a certain type of way. I believe in etiquette. I don't believe in bonnets. I believe when you get up and you go in the world, you're supposed to present yourself a certain way. So, you know, you, you can't get upset when all over your timeline, I never saw you look your absolute best. So it, it kind of begs the question is the only thing you do is put a bonnet on. Is all your conversation negative? So you can't get upset when a person like me as an employer is looking to bring somebody in and work with them. I have to work with you. So that means that I have to deal with you and your personality. And if you got baby daddy drama and you want to fight everybody, I have to worry about if I want to bring that into my, my space. Because I don't do drama and I don't do fighting and I don't do baby daddies and I don't do all other baby mamas and all other people in the world. Like, I don't want people coming to my store wanting to fight you. Like, it's all type of stuff that I have to take into consideration when I bring somebody into my space. Okay? So, with that being said, every pussy has a story. Every last one of them got one. That's why I don't feel like when you're meeting people body count should be so important because the truth is every pussy got a story 
And if you talk to any woman about her pussy, she gonna feel she gonna tell you that it is the absolute best thing in the world. She gonna one thing about it, baby. When we get to talking about our pussy, we take pride in it. And it don't matter if you don't went and got it checked on in years, cause don't nobody know that but you. It don't matter what it done been through, how many infections, STDs, BV, whatever it been through. When you talk about it, you are gonna talk about it like it is the best thing in the world, baby. But every pussy got a story. Every last one of them got a story. And I have talked to hundreds of thousands of women and I can honestly say hundreds of thousands of women and I have never only one time that I met a woman who basically told me how she really felt about her pussy. But every woman that I have ever talked to, she feel like she's sitting on a pot of fucking gold. Every woman that I have ever talked to has always represented her pussy as the best. It is the best. It is good. It is wet. It is this. It is that. It is tight. It is... When a woman talk about her pussy, she gonna tell you all of the great things about it. I have only met one woman in my whole life that has basically said that I don't really feel like it's that special. I do not like the way it smell. I don't necessarily know if it's good. And that's why I don't complain about nobody eating it. Because if I don't like the way it smell, I know that this person probably don't like the way it smell either. And I done been to the doctor for it and everything. And the doctor saying nothing wrong with it. Just leave it alone. Stop going and buying all of this different stuff. Messing it up even more. That is the only one person that I have dealt with that have basically just said that, you know what? I think I got a lot more to bring to the table than my pussy because that is the one thing that I feel like ain't the best. But most women, when I talk to them, they feel like they sitting on that wop, the best, for real. All right, so the reason I wanna talk about this is because every pussy got a story and most people have, when you meet the person that you with, you've had other partners before them. You've had other things going on before them. And sometimes we have to utilize tools. This that I'm talking about, these are tools. These are our tools, ladies. Years ago, when I first started hosting parties, this was the, one of the only tools on the market. This and another one called China Shrink. This is called Tightening Up. This is Tightening Up Vaginal Shrink Cream. This does nothing but tighten the vaginal canal. That's all it does when I tell you when I was like 22 years old, baby, you use this, that thing, grip hold of that dick. And when that dick pulling in and out, it's like a fucking suction cup pulling that dick back in. Like that's how tight it had your walls. So you really had to be mindful of how much of this you use because it will tighten you up sometimes too much. And this was all we had on the market for a very long time. Tighten up vaginal shrink cream was the only thing we had. Years later, they came out with one called Liquid Virgin. Now, Liquid Virgin was a little bit different because it gave, it gave you that tightening feeling and all of this too, but it also gave you a little moisture, okay? Now, when the ladies would come in, I would always ask them, do you, do you get wet on your own? And if you tell me your pussy gets super sloppy, soaking wet, then I wouldn't recommend this to you because this adds moisture and we don't need more moisture. If you tell me your pussy gets sloppy wet, I'm going to tell you stick with this tighten up because you don't need more moisture. But if you tell me it get wet in the beginning, but then eventually I notice it start to dry out a little bit, then I'm going to tell you what do liquid virgin. Because liquid virgin is going to work for you because it gives you that moisture component as well as the tightening component. So that's what's going to work for you. Especially when you're starting to go through the changes of life because I've told y'all, menopause does not start overnight. Menopause is a process that our body goes through. I'm going through it my own self to where I noticed that this pussy ain't sloppy wet like it was when I was 16 years old. Now, the pussy still get wet, but it ain't the 16-year-old pussy. It ain't the 18-year-old pussy. It ain't the 21-year-old pussy. If we gonna talk, we gonna talk. We gonna have real talk, we gonna have real talk. But at 40 years old, the age that I am today, 
I like this one a little better. Okay. Well, guess what? In 2021, 18 again came out. And everybody said, well, what's the difference? Well, let's talk about it. 18 again, not only tightens the pussy up, not only gives moisture, but if you're going through the changes of life, the head hysterectomies, uh, taking all type of medication that's uh, impacting your arousal, guess what? This one tightens, moisturizes, and arouses. So you're getting three components in here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So this one only tightens. This one only tightens and adds moisture. This one tightens, add moisture, and arouses. 18 again. So I'm saying all of that to say, depending on where you at in life and the journey that you own with your pussy, will determine which one will work best for you. Because again, I have stated, every pussy got a story. Every last one of them. Baby, all you gotta do is live. Just live. I did this video, and it, the name of the, the video was A Desert in a Land Full of Waterfalls. When I used to host fun parties, they would have the little young ones up in here. Ooh, it's wet, super sloppy, whatever. Then you had the older women, and they would just kind of be quiet and wouldn't say nothing because they feeling like something wrong with them because they have started going through the changes of life. And this is where I come in, and I have to let them know, baby, hold your head up. Hold your head up, baby. They got something out there for you. They, they young right now, but all they got to do is live. They going to go through the same journey the same process that you're going through right now all they got to do is live so i'm saying that to the ladies who are watching this video today i'm saying this to all of the men on youtube who, who are watching this video today just because your woman ain't getting super sloppy soaking wet like she used to when you met her when she was 18 it don't mean that she ain't attracted to you no more sir that's not what that means it means that she is going through changes with her body. That's what that means. It, it means that she's starting to mature as a woman. That's all that means. And it just means that you need to go on the website and go ahead and order her some stuff. That's what it means. I have to say this because a lot of women don't know how to communicate what's going on with them. And they just won't say nothing. And then the man just forms an opinion on his own that she ain't into me no more. Trust me, I hear it all. When the couple's coming to this store, I hear it all. I hear how in his mind, he feel like she ain't into him no more. Because now he done put on a little weight. And now he got a little gray hair in his beard. And now his hair's starting to thin out at the top it, uh, right now. So in his mind, she ain't getting wet no more because she ain't feeling me no more. Because she don't feel like I, I got it going on like I used to. No, that is not the truth. All you got to do is live. You're both going to go through certain changes. And Lord, don't let you start taking medication. That'll just fuck everything all up. Live. Every pussy got a story. Every last one of them. All you got to do is live. Okay? That is going to conclude my video for today. Those of you all who are interested in applying for employment, reading is fundamental. People say, well, you just got to give people a chance and all of this kind of stuff, baby. Let me tell you something. All I have to do is put out there what I'm looking for, okay? If you can't read to get the job, I know when you get here and if I decide to hire you based on some type of emotional decision, I'm going to have problems. Because you couldn't read the directions in the beginning. So how I expect you to be able to read instructions on products and this and that, the other, and be able to give customers the, the best information. So what I'm trying to say is all of these things, it, it go a long way. A lot of times people look at this industry and because it's an adult industry and it's a sex industry, they feel like it don't have to be taken serious as a person that's an accountant 
or a person that's in the medical field or a person that's over here as an engineer. But yes, this has to be taken just as serious because you're dealing with people and you're dealing with their bodies and you're dealing with product. So this is just as serious as anything else. So don't, don't dumb it down this industry because it's a, a, a fun type of industry. Yes, it is. But when it comes down to dealing with people and issues, especially in the bedroom, that's serious. And we got to know what we're doing and we got to know what we're talking about. Okay? That is going to wrap it up for me today. Um, I have some stuff. For my people who about to go on vacation, because I know that we just took our first lit. It was just a two-day break. A two-day break in Gulfport. Um, Gulfport slash Biloxi. A lit two-day break. And it was very rejuvenating. We really needed it. Um, but I know a lot of y'all are about to start flying out to Atlanta, Miami, and all of this kind of stuff. So I got a lot of fun stuff that you'll be able to take with you. I got all kind of adult type of beach towels. That you could take with you for the uh for the pool parties. Cause when you go into Miami and all these, these people have day parties in their pools, baby. They have DJs and stuff. It ain't like this little country bump and stuff we got here in Louisiana, baby. These pools be lit when you go other places. So yeah, we got the little dog beach towels. We got the lit um vibrators that you could travel with that you can get through T TSA with. Um, and, and for those of y'all that are afraid of flying. Get over it. You're more likely to get into a car accident than you are to have an issue on the plane. And that's for real. That's for real. So stop limiting yourself. Book them flights. They're real cheap right now. Get up in the air. Go out there and enjoy life and do something. And, and do something other than um, go and sit at the table and going out to eat right here locally in Baton Rouge. Go see some shit. Go live. Be blessed, y'all.